Hey, uh, making a quick video here that just kind of covers a bit of a, a breakdown. So not a mental <gasps> breakdown or anything like that, but the breakdown of the design that <clears throat> you've requested. I believe it was Alex in the comments I saw. So I'm going to go about this in a way where you can kind of follow along. So the way I like to start off some of these pieces is I'll start with one, having a bit of an understanding of like what is going to exist underneath, you know, this layout. And typically I'll have the render first and then the layout comes second. Um, or you make a render. I mean, I think it could be done vice versa, but you definitely want to understand, okay, is it too much for the render? And in this case, I think I was like, okay, this is going to be taking up majority of someone's eyes. And you sometimes want to think about it as like, okay, what am I giving someone's eyes <laughs> to be entertained with? So the subject is pretty much this big render. So a render of your choice. And the next thing that comes is the type. Huh? Um, and the type typically I'll bring in. So you'll see, even with this one, I kind of will always just kind of like pull together something for the type first and foremost, just because that's the second thing that you'll kind of be looking at with your eyes and you want that to look nice. Almost to the point where like the whole thing could just stand with the type and the render. So even if I, let's see, let's see if this is true. I may just be capping with you right now. I don't know. So if I went in here in my design and I just started hiding stuff, you could tell my shit is hide this. You can see it kind of like stands by itself. Not the best, but decent. And from there, I like to start to pull in more things to catch the eye. So I was playing around with this like circle pattern where it's like circles connected. And then I typed in delicately into like, I don't even know where I got that from. Um, and I brought in like these circles and one of the biggest things when it comes down to these uh, embellishments, I think they call that, is you're going to want references, tons of references. And there's this concept called FUI, which stands for Fantasy User Interface. And you see a lot of the fantasy user interface stuff within, um, oh, well, I can draw for you guys. You see a lot of that within the movies, things like the Avengers and stuff like that. And these are user interfaces that are honestly just like entertaining to look at. We have user interfaces that we use every day, like this app, uh, YouTube, all those things. The goal of those is to get you to do certain actions. Now, when we're doing these posters and stuff, the goal sometimes is just to portray an emotion or something like that. So go to Google, go on Behance, go on Pinterest and look mm -hmm. up FUI and then even start looking up like sci-fi UI, anime uh, UI, all these different places where people um, share cool stuff like that. And start to just screenshot them and save them, put them on a hard drive, put them on a folder on your desktop. You need all these references. I think the websites where you have like, you know, these pins and stuff, I think there's nothing wrong with it, but there's something special when you start to just take, you don't rely so much on the website. So just download a whole bunch of stuff that you find that looks cool. Um, and you'll see with what I kind of have going on here is it's just like, a hodgepodge of tons of different um, references. So I found this one UI where it had more of like these circular kind of components. And I brought in, I believe it's the Quiet Tuesday logo. Um, and then I saw another thing where it was like, oh, file folders. And it's like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like some file folders on the top left hand corner. But all these embellishments, I think 
what's fun about them is you can get getting lost in them is fine like you can take some time to get lost but you also just really don't want to lose the main core component of it all which would be essentially this section um everything else lives but when you're watching that animation your eyes are just going to kind of be on this side and eventually you're going to be like oh what's over here what's over there um and you can fill up these spaces with the most random stuff like this is just me typing numbers um and then i even brought in some shapes and then started to like overlay them and then i think this is if i'm right i think this is dead ass like a, just a mid journey render or something like that yeah it's a mid journey render and then i threw it into photoshop and half toned it so let's sum it all up um You're gonna wanna have, you know, a, a main focal point, which is typically sometimes typography. Um, for a poster, that could be the the name of the event, um, the lineup, the date, where. Um, and then after that is where you can start to fill in with elements that support that. You know, may that be some sci-fi diagrams that kind of sit pretty nicely around it um, and just fun stuff like that so create your reference folder and you know don't be afraid to get a little messy with it anyways I'll see y'all around I definitely have some videos I still want to uh, edit and put together I have a vlog and then I have some useful oh, useful blender stuff to share with y'all so thanks again and i'll i'll catch you around